the way you test it again. I have not even plugged into anything about my house. Okay. So the only person that I have spoken to was Kyle Connor about testing NAX on a non-Tesla charger. And uh -huh. he's been trying to do it too. But uh -huh. for him, it's really slow. There's a lot of resistance because he has to go through whoops to do changes. Because we own the manufacturer. We own all the software and the hardware behind it. Therefore, all we have to do is just say, okay, it doesn't communicate. Let's change the protocol or let's change the, um, the spec settings like current voltages. Yeah, yeah. Like, for example, I mentioned to you that the Cybertruck doesn't actually charge on an 800 volt system Yeah. because the V4 superchargers currently, as it exists, only supports up to 500, 469 volts to be exact. Really? Yes. And so what's, what we're going to do is we're going to see, because it does say NAX compatible, I'm yeah. for sending that, yeah. but we believe that it's not really NAX compatible. Yeah. So we're going to make it dummy NAX and then uh, we'll try it out. Cool. Let's do it. Open up the charge port. So this is your own. Yes, yes. That's and a it's lot a, bigger. So this is a 750 kilowatt cable. So this is the fastest NAX cable right. in existence, as well as the fastest CCS cable. It feels bigger, but not like abnormally crazy. Yeah, you're talking about almost a thousand amps that's, that cable. That's crazy. We are the first ones to demonstrate NAX charging on a Cybertruck. No one publicly has done NAX yet, at least put in the comments if you think otherwise. Uh, and the first to charge a Cybertruck. Currently, because we're at 57%, uh, we are charging um, at about 80 kilowatts. And that's how I found out. That's crazy. We're getting it blue. That's crazy. Did you match your shirt on purpose? No, not at all. All right, guys, we're here today because we've proven that we can charge a Cybertruck, and now we want to show you the numbers. We want to show you what the new one charging system can do. Now you've seen the release, right? We've successfully charged the Cybertruck. First company, not Tesla, to be able to do that. Now today what we're doing, we've got another one, and we're going to see how much power the Cybertruck can take from our new one charging system. just started the charge and from here inside the the new lobby we can actually see what we're delivering All right, 327 kilowatts. So what's really cool is not just the power that we can deliver to the vehicle, but look at how many miles you're getting per hour. Think about it, we just started charging and in less than five minutes, we're 11%. So we can hit 20% uh, in five minutes flat from 0%. So if you ever run low on charge, you can be rest assured that you're gonna get 20% in that five minutes if you charge with a new charger. So we've just charged multiple Cybertrucks on the new one charger. Special shout out to Jay, one of the first Cybertruck owners here in Arizona. It's the blue Cybertruck. Um, and let's jump into the cor curve over here, the charge curve, and talk about what we see on the screen here. What you're gonna notice is we started charging at 0%. Now, when you talk about range anxiety, 0% means zero miles, but we wanna give you the best charge curve that we can demonstrate, and that's a zero to 100%. So you can understand how fast it charges at the different states. And so what I wanna talk about is this first line over here, it's the black line. That is your state of charge curve. That's uh, your percentage in your battery pack, or sometimes people say how many miles you have on the vehicle. Like for example, Cybertruck says 330 miles, that's about 100%. So 0% means zero miles. And so you can see over here to go from 0% uh, state of charge to 100% state of charge, that took just about 55-ish minutes here. That's 12% faster than any charger that's out there. And so you're gonna notice that that zero to 5%, we have a peak rate of 327 kilowatts. Now we can go a little bit faster, actually we can go a lot faster up to 750 kilowatts. The new one is very capable of pushing way beyond uh, any charger that's out there. You're gonna notice that plateau on the brown line over here, that's your power. What power is, that's your voltage times the current. And I'll jump to the current in a minute. 
So the power over here is how much energy the vehicle is taken in a short amount of time, or in a period of time, rather. Um, and you can see um, it plateaus here, and that has to do with vehicle limits in terms of uh, uh, power delivery uh, into the battery pack. So in order to protect the battery pack, it says I can only accept this amount of power, otherwise it becomes kind of dangerous. Uh, but we never give the vehicle more than it asks for because that, that can cause some problems. Um, and you're going to notice after the five minutes, you see a very nice clean curve. Uh, and that curve is there to protect the battery pack. You're going to notice on this blue line over here, that represents your target current. And what you don't see over here is the green line because the green line is what your current is uh, that's we're delivering and on the chart on the graph that shows what the vehicle is requesting and we are delivering exactly what the vehicle is requesting if you take a look if you zoom in on the bottom left you'll see a little bit of, of green in the beginning and then you don't see it later on anymore because we give it everything that it asks for um, and you can see we hit a peak rate of about uh, it says a rate over here, 462 amps, which is just an, an insane amount. And one thing to note is we liquid cool. The new one liquid cools the cable, and that allows us to push as much power as any vehicle that's on the market asks for it. As you've seen in a prior video, uh, we've charged 600 amps in a, uh, a Tesla Plaid, uh, and that is just wild because if you take a look at the other charging stations out there, they're limited for how much current. So even though they say they're 350 kilowatts, um, they're current limited by, let's say, two, 300 amps on the cable. And so theoretically, they're only 250 kilowatts, not really 350 kilowatts capable. Um, and what's beautiful over here is we're 12% faster. So if you notice the time it takes to get from the 20 to the 80%, um, it's a lot faster than any charger you'll see out there. So as you can see, we've charged an 800 volt architecture. By doing that, we're able to cut the current in half as opposed to a 400 volt architecture. Uh, but it doesn't matter uh, in our instance because we can provide both power for a 400 volt charge or an 800 volt charge. And being one of the first to demonstrate 800 volt charging in the Cybertruck, we were able to maximize the amount of power that the vehicle was able to accept. Um, and then what you're gonna notice once you pass uh, that 80% mark for the state of charge, um, that you get what I'd like to call a trickle charge. It's a very slow charge and it doesn't make sense to continue past that because you're basically sitting there collecting a couple miles every couple minutes. Um, so it makes sense to continue on to your destination or up through your journey um, to go to another charger and ideally charge kind of up to that 75-80% and then advance to the next charger because you're maximizing the amount of power and time that you're at that charging station. One of the things we talked about earlier in the video is the NAX cable that's able to push a lot of power but one thing to note is the standard is not released yet so there are some vehicles prior to the year 2020 that don't have what's called the CCS uh, protocol enable or the CCS modem and you can find that out by going to your advanced settings and hitting additional information and on the screen over there you'll see compatible with NACs and CCS charging. And if that's the case, you're welcome to come by to the new one charger and see the performance of your vehicle. Um, being able to be an early candidate for trying this allows us to be ahead in terms of uh, the market for charging vehicles such as the Cybertruck. All right, we've uh, just successfully charged the Cybertruck and we're seeing repeatable consistent results and it's really exciting and we can't wait to share more information with you guys.